So far, we only worked with the bands. But each band has at least one album. We could expose the albums by themselves in our API, but it is not a good scenario for us. Think about it. Returning a list of all albums without knowing what album belongs to what band is just not that useful. Again, there is nothing stopping us from doing so, but an album always belongs to a band and we should keep this relationship in our API and return the resources accordingly, meaning we should return album along with the band. So let's create a controller for our albums. So let's add another class in our controllers folder and I'll call it albums controller. And just like we did with the bands, it's going to inherit from the controller base. Let's bring in the namespace, which is ASP.NETCore.MVC. And since this is an API controller, we can mark it as such. So we will use the API controller attribute. Now, if you remember in the bands controller, we have this controller level routing and we're going to create controller level routing in our albums as well. But this one's gonna be a little different. So we'll do the route and each route in this controller will go through API slash and now because we want to also return the bands, we will need to pass in the band ID. So our route will be a little different than just API slash albums. So first we'll go to bands and then we will pass in the band ID. And now we will display the albums. So again, since the albums are a child of the band, IURI will reflect that. Because we are not just going to be returning albums randomly, instead each album that will be returned will belong to a specific band. And the rest of the controller is gonna be very similar to what we have in the bands controller. So I'm going to copy the private variables and the constructor and just paste it right here. So let's bring in the namespaces first for the iBand album repository, which is in the services folder and for the iMapper, which is the auto mapper. Of course, the controller is for albums controller and we will inject those two interfaces in our controller. The functionality inside the constructor is the same. We check if the band album repository is null, and if it is, we'll throw an exception. And if it is not, we assign it to our band album repository. And we do the same with the mapper. Check if it's null and assign it to the mapper. So now we can use the mapper as well as the repository in our albums controller. So let's start creating our first actions. 